In this video is a quick guide in how to use Photoshop and Illustrator to turn your handwritten signature into a vector so it could be scaled to any size and used in packaging, print media or cut on any machinery that needs a vector path. Let's jump in and do it. Two things that I want to have a personal touch to with handwriting but have vectorized is I want this co-creative team here written in a nice font and Sam, say hello Sam, she's one of our designers, she doesn't have a stamp and she does lots of packaging for us and I'd like her to get the thanks when something gets delivered so we need to put her signature across here so these are two things we like to have a little personal touch as a small business to make our customers feel special so what we did is we've got Sam to handwrite her name and the co-creative team and we've scanned it into the scanner and now we're going to go through on how to vectorize it and add it into your art. We just opened up the scan of Cocoa Design and Sam Signature for the stamp and the Amazon review card. We're going to vectorize before we open up an Illustrator. We have to just darken this up so it's easier for Illustrator's image trace to detect this. So all we need to do is come up to image mode adjustments, sorry, image adjustments levels. And there's three little eye droppers and you just grab the white one and you just drop it on the widest area. And you can see the spike there and then come in here and find the darkest area you can find. And there, as you can see, it makes it a much crisper black. This will help the image trace on Illustrator. All right, that's the step you all need to do. That's fine. Before we jump into that, you should check out Sam's YouTube channel. She does how-to drawings called Entrancing. I'll chuck the um, link to her videos in the description below. Please check her out. She does some great stuff and we love having her help us out in our business too. We're in Illustrator. We need to put the signatures we just edited on Photoshop. So we just drop that file in here and we need to make it a little bit bigger just so we can see it better. And we want to create a duplicate of that file just for reference after we image trace. Now we come down to properties and you can see image trace here but we can also open up in windows image trace. We already have it open which is here. A few things I like to do is I always like for these go black and white mode you've got all these other modes and come in here I like to push up the paths and the corners and keep the noise low and hit trace see how much it changed from the original not too much quite good now one other thing you need to come to properties and expand or else you just have an image and now you've created the vector part the next thing you need to do it's easier if you drag it off the artboard is you need to remove the white background you can do this by double clicking in and then just pressing delete and then you can go through and delete all the bits you can also go in and you can use the font as is if you're really happy with it or if you want to neaten up you can go in and fix and smooth the paths and do that now i'm just going to jump cut to that this co-creative design and samantha where i've neatened it up and moved things around tightened up the co-creative and fiddled with the dots and i'm happy with this so we're just going to drop them into the art files we need so we've grouped them we're going to firstly start with the amazon review all right so we want to replace this so first thing we want to paste it in and make it the size it needs to be i'm holding shift when i'm doing this and once you have it in the place you want i can command x and i click into the symbol if you want to know how to do symbols just click in the top right hand corner it's going to this is my base art and it's going to populate the a4 down here which i cut into fours so it's easier to print multiples at a time so i'm just going to delete the co-creative and replace it with co-creative design and you can see here it's updated all four pieces of art also we put a qr code on here if you want to learn how to do that in indesign make you populate your own qr codes whatever domain you want I'll put that link up here too. Now we just need to do the stamp. So we're just coming back to the signature. So we copy Samantha's logo and we come in here and we just paste it. And that's pretty good. We could do some edits around there, but overall that's good. Now let Sam fix this up to exactly how she wants it. And that's the stamp. Anyway, let's cut to the outro. Thanks for sticking around to the end. If you wanted to know how to make QR codes in InDesign, just click here. And if you wanted to know how to use symbols in your Illustrator to help create templates just click here and don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't and comment and let me know what I should do in my next video thanks for watching